Hello today. I'm glad you guys are here with me today. Um, I'm going to try something a little bit different here. I'm going to try to walk without a cane or a walker right now. I'm going to walk that way and I'm going to walk back towards this way. I will be holding my cane just in case I do end up falling or whatever. Hopefully I don't fall. But I hope I inspire some people to get out there and walk. Yes, I do have both my braces on. Okay, and I am going to use my cane to walk away, but I will be walking without a cane or without anything. Okay, people, thank you for looking at my, my channel, and um, hopefully I inspire a couple of people or anybody, or if anything, just watch and applaud me, please. I'm doing my best I can to get better. It's not, it's not been the easiest task I, I, I account, trying to accomplish, but I will get past this and I will get better. So I do appreciate anybody watching my videos, and if you can, hit the like button, smash it, whatever you think the word is for it. I appreciate it. And I know I always say, try to say happy quotes, but I'm running out of quotes, and I'm running out of exercises to do so. Best thing for me is just to get better and get, get walking. I've been doing physical therapy for a little bit, and I'm in between the parallel bars learning how to walk. So I'm going to go ahead and walk without a cane or without a walker right now. I will have it in my hand, and I do appreciate everybody watching and doing what you can. But get it up in there, and I am walking without anything. It's not the best walk, but I'm doing it by the front door. Okay? I'll talk about it. It's not the best walking anybody does, but I'm doing it. I'm trying my best, people. It's not been an easy task for me to learn, but I am doing it without the cane and the walker. I have it here in my hand just for protection for me not falling. And I do have water over there, and I do have my other phone there. So make sure you always have your safety device in hand or close by, just in case there's nobody around, because like right now there's nobody around. And um, just got to do what you got to do, people. For you to go forward, you got to let what's behind you leave it in the past. I know I've said that one before, something close to that quote. So hopefully that motivates people. Don't expect change if you don't make any kind of changes. Changing can happen by itself. You have to make a change to make change happen. Okay, people. I am not just a one-trick pony. I'm going to... Try to do a little bit more. therapists have been helping me out trying to get better and that's the whole purpose right so might as well learn what they're trying to teach me okay I'm gonna put the cane down for a second put it right there and um, I do like I said I have both my braces on I'm gonna take both my braces off right now or at least one of them so I could do some squats so I do appreciate you guys watching my video. I'm going to make this kind of quick for you guys, as quick as I can. There's the one brace. That's the sweetest, the sweetest cage brace. And, um,
And I'm gonna go ahead, what's up here? I'm gonna go ahead and leave this brace on, which is my AFO brace, which helps keep my posture so when I do stand up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some squats with it on. Okay. It helps keep my posture up from, from it, it prevents the toe drop is what the AFO brace is. And it's high tech too, it's on carbon fiber. Okay, back to these one. One, two. Well, that time <laughs> it's a little bit tougher when I have my brace on to get the full movement out of it but that's why I keep everything close by me my wheelchair behind me that's three right or four we'll call it three we'll call this one four Five. Six. Seven. And now what we're going to do is we're going to get over here by the couch and I need to do some calves, calf raises and stuff, which is good for the calves right here. Okay, make sure you're holding on very good. So basically you try to get your feet as close as possible. Then raise up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Yes, my left foot is lifting up, that's my bad one, but I gotta go through the motions. Okay, I'm gonna get over here so I get a better positioning. Put both my hands here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, that's two sets of cab raises, okay? Two sets of ten. You see what that AFO brace does right here. It helps out a lot. <laughs> it keeps me to walk better. But the kit, the Swedish, the white one, it helps keep my from my hyperextending my knee. And I just wanted to show you people that you put the work in, you can actually get somewhere. It's been a little bit over a year for me since I had my stroke, a year and a month. And um, I'm doing the best I can. I've been taking my workouts more seriously than I ever have in physical therapy. Like they've been showing me how to go up steps and stuff like that. So, so we're gonna do some knee highs. They're called knee rises or whatever, but I call them knee highs. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Okay, I'm going to put all my weight and all everything on my left leg. And I should put my other brace on. I am going to put my brace back on because I'm going to put too much weight on my left side. So what we're going to do now is put the, the Swedish cage brace on. The white one. It's going to keep my leg from hyperextending. And that one slips over my other one. Put both of them in. Both of them together to help out with what I'm trying to do here. And it keeps my, keeps my knee from hyperextending. For some reason, you know, you're, when you have a stroke, your, your mobility and your neuroplasticics don't always work in the same rhythm like they used to as when you learn how to. So now I can put more weight on this now. Okay. And that's all my weight on my left side. So I wouldn't be able to do it too good like that without the brace on. So I'm gonna go knee highs on this side. What I'm doing is trying to build my strength up on my left side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine and ten. I'm gonna do one more on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, okay, I'm gonna do it with the other one. I'm gonna put all my weight and all my, everything I got on my left side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, yes I am, it is a little bit hot today, it's like 106 or 107 today over here in, in the Merced County Valley or whatever. It's not as hot as Arizona, but it's still hot out here. And um, that's going to be it for the leg workouts. And um, just to finish it off, we're going to do one more calf thing, calf freeze. With both feet together, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And I am trying to remember to keep my hand open while I do this. Like I'm trying to do multitasking things. Like when I was doing the the toe touching to squat, try to in, incorporate to like moves. Try to do a few things, you know, every time I'm trying to do something, I gotta remember to keep my my left hand open while I'm doing things. Because my whole left side got um, affected by by my stroke. And um, it's just hard to remember a lot of stuff. It's not trying to remember, it's just a matter of doing it all at once. So if I'm helping out anybody, please give a thumbs up, hit the like button, smash it, whatever you want to call it. I do appreciate everything. Just remember to your normal people out there, just because you're doing more doesn't mean you're getting more done. Just because you think you, you got a lot done doesn't mean you're really getting it done. So, I don't know. I am in my wheelchair still, but I have to do it to shut this.